But we got some professional fights in this cage lined up for you. Okay. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black and urban camo, vicious fightgear.com trunks. He is a member of the Desert Dogs fighting tonight out of Bend, Oregon. Give it up for J.T. Taylor. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks tonight, representing Curtis Crawford's Ultimate Fitness. Make some noise for John Heath. This professional bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And so a great matchup coming in tonight. John Heath taking on JT Taylor. Heath fighting out of Curtis Crawford's gym and uh, Taylor coming in for the Desert Dogs. This is our second fight in our pro main event. Taylor fighting in the black and urban camo shorts. And uh, Heath coming in in the all black shorts, a 170 pound pro fight. A nice inside leg kick by Taylor. Now goes for the head kick, blocked though by Heath. And Heath returns the inside leg kick and another one. And then he goes for the head kick. So both these fighters testing each other out. Trying to find their range. And the referee stops it. And another nice inside leg kick by Heath. So it looks like right now both fighters are trying to go for their legs. Yeah, and then Heath throws a head kick. Yeah, both these fighters looking like they're coming in wanting to strike. Neither uh, fighter going for a takedown so far. And Taylor with a nice leg kick, and Heath returns the favor with two nice leg kicks of his own. So both these fighters uh, testing each other out with the legs instead of the punches so far. And a nice combo by uh, Heath there. Taylor came in with an overhand left, and Heath hit him with a one-two combo. And a good leg kick. Heath comes in with a Superman punch, but it doesn't land. And Taylor returns with the leg kick, so we are seeing a lot of kicks early in this first round. They're using their legs more than their hands so far. And now you're seeing Heath start to open up with the hands. A, a good striker is Heath. And uh, we've also seen some good strikes from Taylor, though, so far. Taylor continues to work those leg kicks, and it looks like he thinks he has Taylor time to look into counter punch now. And a beautiful inside leg kick, but Taylor returns the favor. And they're just exchanging those leg kicks. I believe Heath is just taking his time right now. Yeah, Heath hit uh, Taylor with three inside leg kicks in a matter of two seconds or so. And again, an inside leg kick, and most of them are on that lead leg of Taylor's. And Taylor returns the favor with a nice inside leg kick of his own, and another one. And he tries to reverse it up, bring those hands down with those uh, inside leg kicks, and then he throws a high kick. So uh, Heath presses the action, but comes in with a flying knee that misses. Taylor doing a nice job of countering. And you see Heath on his uh, right leg. He's got a knee brace, so that could be for traction or maybe he has a pass injury. And Taylor with a nice inside leg kick, and he hits him with it again. Taylor doing a nice job of switching legs um, where he lands that kick. And also does a nice job of landing uh, low kick, low kick, and then he goes for a head kick. Oh, 
And so both these fighters exchanging. Neither fighter's been hurt. Neither fighter's been taken down so far. A uh, chess match on the feet. And hard to tell who has the advantage so far. Uh, Taylor coming in with the kicks, high and low. But uh, Heath seems to be the aggressor on the feet. Seems to be pressing the action. At the same time, when he sees Taylor begin to throw, he also is trying to counter him as well. So a good fighter is Heath on the feet. And Taylor is as well. Continues to land that low kick. And that's going to pay off later in the fight. Very interesting to see a fight, especially in the first round, that is mostly this all kicks. Right now we're starting to see the jabs and strikes starting to come out. Yeah, especially from Taylor. As you see there, two straight leg kicks, not even going for a punch. And that's the third straight leg kick without a punch. So Taylor doing a nice job of being efficient with the leg kicks, and he throws again. That time follows it up with a one-two combo, but Heath saw it coming and just moved out of the way. And a leg kick by Heath. Heath this has the opposite. Uh, it seems his right leg's the strongest and his left uh, goes for the punch. And that's the end of round number one. A well fought first round. End of round number one in our professional bout. Lots of respect shown by these two uh, competitors to their opponent's game. And a well-fought first round. We're getting ready for the second. And uh, neither fighter really had the advantage there in the first round. We saw um, John Heath throwing a lot of punches uh, later in the round. He opened up with a lot of kicks. And uh, JT Taylor really picked the whole first round. Uh, it did throw some punches late, but Number two, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And there you got how we do our pro fights here. Um, but yeah, Taylor with a lot of kicks there in the first round. And there you see it continue in the second round, kick after kick. And uh, he's doing a nice job of keeping back Heath with that kick. And I think that's what his, uh, his goal is here. Heath doing a nice job of boxing when he gets in close. So Taylor decides that he's going to keep him on the outside by just throwing kick after kick. And it is, it is being somewhat effective. He is landing a lot of kicks to the lower leg of Heath. Yeah, that's a nice combo by JT Taylor. A nice inside kick to uh, blow to the head. And Taylor does a nice one-two combo to close the distance and pushes Heath up against the cage. And it looks like Taylor is maybe looking for a takedown here. He's bringing those arms low, trying to lock up one of those legs, and Heath uses that to his advantage, reverses the situation, and now has Taylor pressed up against the fence. There you hear the corner telling uh, John Heath to start throwing the elbow. He has him in a tight clinch. His corner looking for a little bit of that dirty boxing. But so far, uh, Heath looks content to catch his breath, just keep Perry uh, pushed up against the cage, stop eating those kicks. As far as we can see, this has been an entirely a stand-up game, and you see there, there you can see he's stomping on the feet, trying to get him down to the, floor, the ground, I mean. Yeah, foot stomps being employed by JT Taylor. And you know that's gotta be uncomfortable for Heath. Again, being pressed up against the fence, and uh, Taylor doing a nice job of being the aggressor here in the second round. Uh, did a nice job of closing the distance, pushed Heath up against the cage, and uh, has been keeping him there this whole second round. It's always a great shot of the fighters right there in their face. Yeah, and in that shot, we saw a small cut under the eye of John Heath. So Taylor has opened him up a little bit, not able to... Uh, take advantage of that cut at all because they've been pressed up against this cage for this whole fight and Heath working hard for the takedown and he gets it so John Heath with a nice takedown but JT Taylor fighting to get out of it and so uh, Taylor looking for a submission from the bottom he's looking for that choke I really don't think Heath, and Heath taps. 
Heath taps. I can't believe it. Taylor chokes him out from the bottom. And I was about to say I didn't think that Heath had a, was in much trouble. Taylor was on the bottom. But Taylor had it locked in deep, wrapped those legs around. Heath wasn't able to go anywhere and finally just had to give it up and tap. And so that's the end of the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for these welterweight warriors. Your winner at a time of two minutes, 36 seconds of round two by tap out to guillotine choke is J.C. Taylor. And how about a big round of applause for his opponent, John Heath. Congratulations, JT, on your victory. Uh, a couple head kicks there. Those, uh, the, the new Vicious Fight Gear trunks, they're pretty good to fight in, eh? Yeah, I definitely think they improved my game. Made my kicks a little faster. This, this color looks good on me, yeah. Well, hey, how are things going there in Ben? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, it's good to see you back in action. You're victorious here. Uh, wh what's next on your plate? I just want to thank James for putting on a really great show, and I think there's somebody out there who wants to say something to me. But first, I gotta say thank you to a couple people. One, Crystal, I love you. Thank you for supporting me. All my dogs, all my, all my family, all my, my students who come to support me and train with me every day, bleed with me every day, sweat with me every day. I salute you and I appreciate you very much.